Hey guys, Barry here again. And I just want to start this video off by saying, holy crap, does this look good. I'm real happy with how this turned out. I just got at it today and painted everything up, painted it all black. It might not last forever. This was blue, this was like orange or something down here, so um, it might not last forever, but it looks good for now and until I can get some new boots. So what we're gonna be doing today is mounting the rad. Um, I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna have it in this orientation as it is, or whether I'll have it pointed back this way. But I do like it the way it is because um, any air coming off the roof will go down the back of the cab and hopefully be sucked in by the electric fans. I got these wired up as blower fans, so they're pushing air this way, down, you know, under the back. Uh, so I think that would work really well, and also it's really easy to run the pipes because the inlet and outlets are on the outside of the frame. I can run pipe right on and under the frame, under the cab, out to the front, to the water pump. It's a little crude looking, but this is the mount for a radiator. This stud sits in the bottom pocket on the rad, and this tab is what holds the fan shroud onto the radiator at the bottom. Um, you can kind of see where it sits right down here. Um, so now, when I get this completely welded up, then I can start on making the brackets that come off the frame and bolt up to this piece right here on the rad. And then it'll be mounted. It's actually a fairly simple install. So the mounts are all welded up, um, all welded up down here, nice and solid. So now we can see where the rad's gonna sit. So I'm thinking about bringing it up around here. That way I can extend a piece of square stock off the frame here, out, drill a hole in it, and bolt it right to the frame. And that'll give it a lot of rigidity. And there's rubber bushings here and here, so it won't, uh, so it shouldn't get any vibration damage. So this is our piece of square stock. Now we gotta cut it off to the correct length to line up with the bolt down here. Perfect. Now you can set the height up here or a little lower, wherever I need to go, and weld it to the frame, and then drill the hole in this piece here. For the bolt.
Red's all mounted up. Now we need to cut some pipe. So what I'm gonna to try to do here is come off the bottom of the water pump, come down and go under the frame and just sneak past this control arm here. Um, my oil pan is fairly low. I haven't hit that yet, so I think it'll be fine. So what I'm gonna to try to do is piece together a couple different hoses, something like this here. See if I can get that behind to get a better view. So something like this, it'll come down off the water pump, down and go directly in under that control arm right here. And then I can run a straight piece of pipe right to the back and not have to worry about cutting and welding pipe. We'll see how it's it works. Just a real quick look at what it's gonna look like. So it comes out of the water pump, down, clears this steering shaft, under the frame. And I just got it bungee corded up here so I can measure the length of it. But it's gonna go through here and up around the frame into this part. So it's pretty well straight shot to the water pump and then I'll be able to judge the distance from the uh, other part of the water pump back here and across to this side up here to this part. No. I started on the second uh, cooling pipe here now. So if I can get my phone down there. So this is the outlet at the top of the water pump here. And what I'm going to do is take this piece, it's like a 90 degree, and put that one on here with a joiner. And it's going to come down pretty well straight down. Um, and point in the same direction as the other one that's down here. We got the second pipe coming off the water pump. Now it's just gonna come down straight and follow this one and go right across this way. Maybe come straight along here and then turn and go across. Uh, but basically, we just gotta meet this pipe right here. So I know I'm jumping all over the place here, but I'm trying to get an idea of where I'm going with this. So out of the top port of the red, the hose comes down alongside of the frame and it's going to be tucked up here a lot closer so it's not uh, hanging below the body or anything like that um, so then we're going to come from right here go across right under the transmission under the cross member and then go straight up here and then meet that rad hose up here i've got a pretty solid idea where this is going i'm i'm, I'm liking the look of it it's hanging really low here right now so I have to get some brackets and mount it up to the frame, like up here somewhere. Maybe uh, mount it up to here and bolt onto this same clamp, something like that. I don't have this piece here trimmed up yet, but it's gonna follow this pipe here, same thing, and go straight up into the uh, top water pump part there. So I made a little revision to the upper radiator hose. Uh, I'm gonna use the Dodge Dakota rad cap spout thing um, so I put that into the top rad hose here it's kind of hard to see around all the intercooler hoses but uh, it's gonna come out of the top of the radiator the hose and the cap is right there for the overflow and it will come right down to the uh, port so it seems like part one of this video is pretty well clued up um, the pipe runs right from the water pump down up to the frame, turns, goes across here. Up into the radiator up here. Flows across. Out the bottom of the red. Right on up the frame rail. Into the bottom of the water pump. And also my mechanical temperature sensor. I figured is a good spot right here to put it. So this is part one finished. In part two, I'll fill it and uh, reroute the steam ports. And that'll be pretty much it. Hopefully there's no leaks in it. Oh yeah, also I have to wire the electric fans. I just gotta make an extension for the wires. So that's it for another video. Hope to catch you all back next time. Have a good night.